Israel, Borut Petrlin here, Top Sheet Photography. I hope you're enjoying the summer. Um, it's very hot, it's super hot, and uh, I thought to make a vlog about how to do a wet plate in heat. First, you have to get yourself a watermelon. Then you have to spit all over the place. Okay. But I will not just tell you what to do. I want to learn something too. So I just want to go through um, a long list of tests. For example, I will start with a collodion manual of Mark Osterman. All the recipes, this is the starting point. And then, of course, uh, the temperature of 30 degrees Celsius or more, the, the fog will appear. So what we will do, we will tweak the developer, tweak uh, pH of silver nitrate. We will also put albumin on the, on the um, plate. We will do a test how it behaves if you have a clean silver nitrate or if it's a exhausted bath full of iodides and alcohol. And um, it's a lot of work. Mm. Yesterday it happened, it falls, it broke a lot of bulbs, so yeah, 124 euros, but it's ordered and it's done. Okay, I'm, I'm happy to you, happy. This might be the worst vlog I ever made. Why? Because I had a really good idea. You know, make a perfect plate and then set up a tent. In the tent would be 30 plus degrees Celsius, which in Fahrenheit is... Okay, let's review the results. They are catastrophic. Catastrophic in a sense, in the, the opposite sense. So my idea, please understand, was perfect. You know, I will... I will make a perfect plate and then I will set up a... With the same chemistry, I will go into the really hot tent, I will heat everything up and then I will get a heat, and then I will get a fog, and then, uh, then I will solve it. And I will appear victorious. I will appear genius. But the, the Collodian fairies really won again. Why? Because I couldn't get a fork! Get a fork! I couldn't get a fork. Look at that. My nose goes like this. So, Collodion. Collodion was 28.6 Celsius. The silver trade was 27.3. The glass was 32.2 Celsius. And then I was walking for five minutes after sensitizing. I was walking... Um, I sensitized it normal, like around three minutes. Uh, then I was walking uh, with this plate for five minutes and uh, in, in, uh, in, in that walking time, the plate, I was walking on the sun, as you can see in my, in my vlog, and the plate got hot like 36 Celsius. And then I expose it and look at that, develop it and look at that. Totally perfect plate. There is nothing wrong with it. There is not a zero fog, nothing. I was so frustrating. I was, I was really, really frustrating. And then I, whatever I'd done, so this is number four, I splashed the developer, I mean the Collodion. I never, and, and then I splashed the silver tray. I tried to get the worst kind of um, developing, you know, because beginners, you know, that's the weak point of the begin uh, of, of, of the learning curve. You know, that's the beginning of the, you don't know how to throw a developer, you don't know how to pour Collodion and then everything is messy and then you're developing without, Anyway, I did really badly, uh, and look at that, still, still. Okay, here I have some, some um, fog, but I think this, this part is because of the um, flare of the... And then, finally, then I took this silver. <laughs> it was really in a bad condition, exhausted, and so on and so on. Anyway, I add some silver in, you know, because without silver, silver you trade, <laughs> no silver bath works, but it's really dirty and I kept it dirty as you can see 
and then I got, oh, finally I have some fog, you know, and then number six, I got some fog, oh, finally I'm getting there. But then when I realized I got, <laughs> and then when, this was actually under underexposed, overdeveloped, uh, and, and then I finally, I set up the, um, like, proper exposure and everything, and then, you know, the same thing, clear. clear I mean, nice and beautiful plate. You know this lo those lines? You see those lines here? These are not from the, these are just because I, I was in the tent, I was, so one side it's clean, the other one is it's not, I was pouring on the back side. So on the, not the cleanest side uh, of the plate, but I still got a good plate, you know, like of course these patterns, you can see this fog when it's actually sharp, you know, it's not, it's not like fog fog, but when you see really sharp lines, that's clear sign that the, plate is not cleansed well. Uh, so what I've done here, actually I pour a developer, like I, I always do, and then I pour it off. So everything run out, and then I was developing for like 20 seconds or so um, without the developer basically. All the developer uh, went out and consequently <laughs> there is not, many, not much silvery trade catched back from the plate. Why I've done this? Because I want to get a fog caused by heat. I couldn't, but this is, there, this is no, no fog is here. Like, look, the, the blacks are clean, you know, see? But then I went to the worst collodion there is, which is Pooh Boy. I know it's very popular, but it's the worst. But it works, you know, it works. You can get a good, good result. It's just, the Pooh Boy actually didn't do good with heat. I could tell here, you know, on these results. Uh, there are some fogs. And then I went with my bulletproof recipe. My, I, I'm working on a new re uh, collodion recipe to be like perfect for negatives, to be really strong and really dense negatives. And, I, and I've achieved really good results. But, you know, look, look, under heat, this happened. And, uh, and this is without, this is, this is done uh, next day when the, um, I mean, of course, like it's just like a truck and, but there is no fog, you see? And this one, you see those lines, those uh, palm leaves lines? That's because of the water in, in uh, anyway, you see, under heat at 30 degrees Celsius, it's much worse than, um, than uh, Osterman standard. But you can see, but it's also, br it has more, um, it has more iodides inside and it is a little bit brighter. This one is a little bit brighter. Summa summarum, I am not satisfied with my bulletproof recipe yet. It works, it's going right direction, but I see some drawbacks. You know, you gain some, you lose some. Well, now I, I'm understanding what I'm losing and I don't like it. I had a really good plan how to show you how to get out of the heat, out of the fog that caused the fog, except I didn't get any fog. Fog. So uh, let's finish this and I will tell you theoretically what I do if I get fog, which I didn't now. So I don't know. Okay? Okay. Okay. Theory. I'm sorry, this will have to go through a theory instead of going through practice, but, but nevertheless, I hope it will be useful, um, this vlog, my worst vlog ever. So first of all, if you get fog, um, it's usually because of the developer. Heat, usually you overdevelop. That's basically what it, that's basically it. So I advise you, use, let's start with a Osterman standard developer, which is, this and now let's say you get a fog concerning developer you have four steps first add distilled water into developer second add acetic acid in distilled water how much i don't know three four five milliliters per hundred uh, hundred milliliter of developer the third step is add sugar up to five grams of sugar per hundred milliliter of developer and fourth is add nitric acid uh, to the developer up to five drops of nitric acid in 100 milliliter. That's like the maximum. Because if you put more, you will get this kind of like a diamond small crystals in, a, in the collodion. Anyway, 
but nitric acid is super, super efficient. If you're still getting fog, maybe it's from collodion is drying. So how do you know that? So if you have a fog here and this is the pouring off edge, that's because of the collodion is drying. So what you can do, first of all, pour it better, like thicker, then add some alcohol in, um, in collodion. How much? 10, 20% of the amount that you have. Uh, third option is, especially if you work in the heat, uh, I mean, in the, if you work in the heat, usually you work outdoor, right? Like in a tent, like I did. So then you don't have a running water. So that's very, very crucial is how to stop a developing efficiently and fast. I saw a couple of people using distilled water. That's a mistake. It's much better to use a tap water or even better, let's say in the heat, use tap water because the chlorine in water will stop, the, will react with silver nitrate. Sure, you, uh, it will look ugly, but it's the, the, the stopping, the washing is much faster and much more efficient. Furthermore, you can put a teaspoon of salt, table salt, in one liter of washing water. What will that do? A sodium chloride is a table salt, uh, it will react with silver nitrate, it will become silver uh, chloride, and which means the silver nitrate will not have time to deposit on your blacks, meaning cause the fog. So washing, the, the third option is washing. Fourth one, sensitizing, sensitizing the plate. When it was a heat, uh, like 30 plus degrees Celsius, I dipped the poured plate into the silver nitrate and then after a minute I took it out and then I saw this kind of like a oily patterns. It was behaving like oil because the, the collodion didn't accept it fully. That means it's not ready yet. And then I'm actually, if I'm in a hurry, I just, you know, I just stir it. And, uh, and then when there is no oily marks, when the, the silver nitrate flows evenly, then I would like, I, I prefer to leave it for another half a minute. The fourth measure how to prevent a fog is the most effective one, and that is by lowering pH of silver nitrate. But it also comes with a, with a price tag. If you lower pH of silver nitrate, also the sensitivity of silver nitrate or your collodion plates will go down. That means it will be more stable, uh, the fog will not appear, but also it will be less sensitive. The most effective and the best way is to do it with a nitric acid. And how much? I would say one, maybe two drops of nitric acid, usually nitric, my nitric acid is around 65%. So one or two drops per one liter of silver nitrate, not more. If you have a fogging and if you want to have, deal with the fogging once and for all, you would have to take yourself a day and just test and push yourself to the limit. Don't wait for the client to give you like a thousand euros and then you cannot make a plate and then you go like a drama queen. I've done that. It's not fun. Trust me on this one. Hey guys, if you're serious in wet plate collodion process and if you seriously want to learn about the heat and this, then you have to, do, to repeat the test that I've done. So basically put your tent on the heat, uh, heat up all the chemistry. First, make a, make, a, make a photo that your chemistry works in a normal temperatures and then go into heat, right? So you have to compare. And then you will solve it by this measure that I just mentioned. If you will do that, Please give me a uh, feedback. How, how are you dealing with that? You know, of course, anecdotal, there are many anecdotes. I mean, I have many, you know, when the heat caused fogging. But now when I scientifically wanted to explore this phenomenon, I didn't get a fog. So I don't know what to say. Then to trust science uh, and just say the, the heat doesn't, uh, that doesn't cause fogging. <laughs> okay, guys, that's it. I'm sorry, I, I, I think my vlogs are getting more and more boring uh, and less and less frequent. Actually, if I'm honest, this month I was thinking to actually pause the pledges of my Patreons because I don't think I earn it. I'm sorry because I haven't done much vlogging because this summer I didn't took any, any vacation. I'm sorry, I didn't took any vacation because I have a cottage to pay, right? I did my first music video spot. The band is happy and so am I, if I'm honest. It's much better than I expected. So, uh, thank you for watching and, uh, stop shit happens! Fish! 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 Ah!